Hi, what is up guys? My name's Albert. Welcome to TinyBot channel. Um, so today we are working on a Ferrari California and I wanted to make a video um, talking about mirrors and inlays and uh, how to hide seams. And this mirror is a little bit more uh, complicated. It's not too, too crazy, but it is a little bit more uh, difficult. And uh, we wanted to make a video on how to wrap this uh, mirror. So the first thing I wanna do is anytime I wrap any piece, whether it's a mirror, door handle, front bumper, rear bumper, whatever the case is, I always wanna make sure that I break down the panel that I'm wrapping. For example, here, I have a break here, and then I have this up top. So when the mirror folds in, um, I get this piece down here. What I'll do is I'll wrap a piece up here, just for whatever reason, cause you can see right here, there's like, the mirror doesn't sit perfectly. You wanna keep that in mind when you're wrapping it because if you wrap it and then you can still see the original paint color, whether the part's broken or not, or there's, you know, that's just gonna make your work look bad. So you always wanna make sure that you dissect piece that you're wrapping and um, you try to make sure you get full coverage. Keep that in mind when you're doing seams. So you always want them to face down or face towards the car. Because if they face towards the car, when you're walking up to the car, you don't see it. All right, enough said. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on wrapping this bottom piece and I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it. All right, so the mirror goes on like this, right? And I can get away with the seam back here facing that way because when you walk up to the car, the seam's gonna be that way. So then that means I gotta do this back piece first. And then down here, I know that I can get away with the seam because it's the bottom. So now that I looked at that, I'll come and look back at it. You always wanna use hard body lines when you do a seam. And the reason for that is when you use a hard body line, that hard body line helps you hide the seam line. So when it's just like flat surface and you have just a, 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 a seam line running down the middle, like if you do it on a hood because the wrap's not big enough, if you're working with like chrome, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if you do it on a hard body line, it hides it just a little bit more. So it's a little bit better. And then down here, when there's a break right here on the bottom of the mirror, um, that's the, the best part that you can do it. You don't want to do it on the side or over here. You want to use the, the bodies of the car or whatever piece you're wrapping to your advantage. So now I'm going to cut a piece and I just want to get it to where I need it. And I'm gonna start in one section where I know that I am going to use my um, hard body line. So with this, when it comes to these pieces, since they're so oddly shaped, you wanna start trimming down your wrap. That way, to relieve tension. You don't wanna make sure you don't cut too much. Cause then you're gonna, you know, be short. But see there how I have a little bit more play with it. And then here I'm gonna lay it this way, so I wanna cut this piece right here. And I'm just kind of shaping my material. So now I wanna go ahead and just start stretching. And you kind of always wanna give it like a snug little pull when you're wrapping around these pieces because you want the wrap to wrap around the edge. So just like that. I get my hard body line. I want to give it about a quarter inch all the way around. So now I shape it again and I'll go ahead and lift it over the edge just like that. So now I want to use my heat just to relax my film. And like I said, you just want to give yourself a little bit extra so when the mirror folds in, you don't see the original color. So now I'm just trying to fold over on me. I want to heat it, just relax the film, and then massage it. And then you just want to continue that. So now I want to fold it back. Oh. Like I said, at this point, I'm just over wrapping 
just for the color. It's not necessary, but I just do want to make sure that every angle that they walk by, I have coverage, which you're probably never going to see. But when you take that extra step, there's the little things that count. I'm just heating the edge to soften up the film so I can massage it and I can cut my edge. Like right here, also, I am over wrapping because this goes to the base of it. There's like a little seal that goes on it. See how right there I uh, gave it a little bit extra wrap just because when the mirror is closed or whatever, when it moves, uh, it's getting old. See all this extra film right there? It doesn't need to be perfect because you're only, you I only see the very edge of this little bevel right here. I don't even see all that, but from certain angles you can see in and if you see the red, it just looks a lot cleaner. Like you can see, it, the, actually this lip sits over it so you don't even see any of that, but you still see the shade of it. I don't know, just a little thing I do, but to each their own. Okay, so now I wanna fold this over like this and I wanna go ahead and do this piece now. I guess I could use this piece here. And I am going to do the same thing. Just kind of feel around. And then I am just going to cut the extra material because it's just easier to work the film when you kind of have it molded to what you need it to. All right. So now I'm going to pick it up halfway. Hope you guys can see because oh, that's gonna suck. And then I want to stretch outwards like that and then towards that seam. And the reason I want to pull outwards is because I have this seam line here. When I pull out this way, the material is only going to want to shrink around that edge. Now, if I pull all the way through it, it's just going to want to peel back. And that's when your seam lines start showing, you know. So if you do that very edge, if you pull with your seam line, you won't have that issue and you can cut a shorter seam line. So now here want to do the same thing you're just gonna to have to get creative with your hands and your legs and you're gonna to have to use all your body parts to hold mirrors so now same thing I want to pull towards that edge and I want to pull away from it just like that okay like I said you start growing a few legs all right, so now I have my seam line right here. I can see the very edge of it right there. I want to get my blade and give myself about an eighth inch. Just like that. Now, I don't know if you can see this white edge right here, that white edge right there is the reason you want it facing towards the car or down because this white edge will face down and you won't see it. If you face it up the other way, then when you walk up to the car, you'll see that seam line and we don't want that. We want it to look like we know what we're doing. All right, so same thing here. I wanna give it about an eighth inch. You gotta find your seam line. Just like that see the white edge see that white edge there that's what you want and now it's facing towards the car so you won't ever see it I have gone to massage around the edge and then if it's not really shaping to the way you want it if you start trimming down the wrap you're just leaving yourself a quarter inch and then you come back again with the heat gun Heat it, then it'll relax a little bit more. Actually here, I'll just leave all that material in there. I don't really care because it actually takes a gasket and you won't ever see that. All right, now I gotta start pushing this in. And I wanna start just kinda 
massaging it in. And I use my heat gun for extra film. And then cut right to the edge. And here I actually want to cut a relief cut so this relaxes over. Then I want to use my heat gun. And the reason I can do a relief cut there is, like I said, it's gonna hide underneath everything. I'm actually over wrapping it at this point, but it is fine. So, there you go. That's my base. All right, so now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna wrap this. So me, if I am a first time wrapper or if I'm trying to figure out how to look at this, I will look at it from far and I wanna see like, okay, anytime I'm looking at this mirror, I'm gonna walk up to it this way. Or if I'm the customer, I'm gonna walk up to it this way, right? So I'm like, all right, so I'm gonna get a top view of it somewhat of a side. So this down here right now, right here, this is all eliminated. I can do a piece right there all the way to here. So I can do one right there all the way here and then down to here and then actually just stop it right there. And that would be my first piece. My second piece would be right here. And the reason I'm going this way is because now I'm working my way this way. Whatever I wrap over is gonna wrap over this way and then the seam's gonna come this way. So I'm like, okay, I'm looking at this piece here and I'm like, all right, well, I'm gonna stop right here. So that means I can get a piece maybe to right there. So right here. So I'll probably even go as far as going to this body line here and then stopping right there. But now if I stop here, now my customer, when they sit in here, all they're gonna see is the seam line. So I have to think about how I'm gonna hide that. So actually when I bring my, my wrap, I'm going to probably bring it, this piece all the way down here, and then I'll probably bring it to here, and then stop it right here. And then continue another piece through the top. That way it's a little bit lower away from eye level. So I'll probably do it down here, keep it below this so when people are sitting in there, they don't see this down here. And those are the kind of things that you have to think about. Guys, yeah, so I don't know if you're gonna be able to see very well, but I went ahead and put a black strip all the way in. And all it was was just a half inch, a long piece, probably like four feet. And then I just rolled it around the edge, all the way around, all the way to the top. And it's easier for me as well to wrap around this than trying to wrap a whole inch piece or whatever and then it lifting. So now all this got laid in. All I have to wrap around this little edge is an eighth of an inch, quarter inch. And that's it. I'm gonna try my best to make sure you guys see what I'm doing. Um, like I said, I'll get to my wrap and I'll actually use the knifeless tape. And and I'll tuck it back in the mirror and then I'll walk up to it. As you can see, you can barely see the knifeless tape here. And always use the knifeless tape as a reference to where you, you're gonna see it. So if you're like, oh wet, man, you could really see that really bad, then I'll move the knifeless tape. And also you gotta keep in mind when you're doing the, the inlays where too much stretch is going to be for the wrap. So knowing where to hide it and also knowing what's the limit because you don't want it to peel back. And now when I stretch, I don't get no peel back. Now when I get to a certain point where I can't stretch my wrap anymore, I make sure I make a relief cut. Now I can pull towards this corner. Before I seal the edge, I'll go back, give it a little bit of heat. And then I want to 
tuck this edge before I rotate it because I don't want to mess up the wrap. Same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and eat that. And like always, you wanna pull outwards on your seam lines. And I'll make sure I get around to that edge. And like I said, making that edge just right there makes it a lot easier. And then I'll just kinda trim up the inside edge. Relieve tension. And I always put. Didn't pay the damn power bill. Ugh. Now that I actually got this piece done down here, I wrote to my edge. The knifeless tape in here, I'm gonna pull at the end and it'll just be one smooth cut with all the pieces. All right, so you can see now, here I have this piece here. There's a piece down here, and now this piece is gonna face down. And this side is going to be down a little bit more, and then the other side is going to wrap around it, so they're going to all cover up. Go ahead and give myself, like I said, an eighth of an inch, which is the green edge of the knifeless tape. I put it right on the edge of my line for my inlay, so it's like that. And now I want to come up here. If I choose this hard body line here, which I actually am, now that I, now that it's coming together i can see where i can actually get away with it so like at the end of the day you just have to do your best hiding these seam lines it's not going to be invisible but at the same time it is going to be very very clean and then i want to start down here and there's like a little edge here so i gotta start just kind of looking and seeing where the vinyl is going to want to go. So I'll hook this piece down here. I want to hook the piece that's going to have the most tension. Just like that. I want to heat. And I want to pull towards me with the body line. And out. And I just want to. Okay. So that's good right there for now. So the reason I stopped was because I want to cut this off right here. Kind of show you guys. So here I'm good. But down here, I still need to come down a little bit. So I want to reposition. I want to heat here. And I actually want to pull like that. Now, I just massage it. So now I'm pulling with this body line here because I'm going to wrap around this edge. You can see, and then down here I pulled outwards because I have a seam line here. If I would have just pulled through, it's gonna peel back, so I don't want that. All right, and then I relieve the tension, give myself about a quarter inch all the way around. Before I start pulling knifeless tape. Come up here, same thing. There's a corner over here. And then I'm just gonna pull out and towards this line with this knifeless tape. So I wanna make sure it doesn't peel back. I'm gonna go ahead and pull my knifeless tape. Around this edge, I'm gonna give myself about a quarter inch all the way around just to relieve tension from this edge. Heat, make sure it doesn't peel back. And down here on the base, I'm going to give myself about an eighth inch. And the reason for that, my friends, is so it wraps around the edge and you don't see the original color. Perfect. Here, 
Here you see the seam line right here, facing down. You won't see that. Here, this seam line, it's gonna be facing that way. So now all we have left is this piece right here. I've never done one of these mirrors before. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put another piece here. I'm breaking this piece down here because this right here is pretty round. And then trying to stretch around this side is just not gonna work. So I am going to just start there. And I'll actually pull it with the body line just to get a little bit of tension on it. Just like that, nothing crazy. Let's take, pinch it at the edge, and pull it. Lift it, take the vinyl off. Same thing on the other side, right to the edge of the wrap. Pinch it, pull it, come all the way through. And then leave a quarter inch on the edge here because remember we have knifeless tape that we need to pull. So now we have this piece here down the middle and all we need is this little piece here. So I'll go ahead and same thing. Put my knifeless tape right to the edge of this wrap. Green edge goes on the edge of your wrap where you're seaming the line. And here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stretch around. That way, I don't get wrinkles or anything on this edge here when I wrap around for my the inside of the mirror. So I wanna separate it. Like I said, we're just doing the tip just for the beginning of it. We're not doing nothing crazy. And then just separate and pull through. Okay, and I just want to make sure I kind of relax it around my edges and heat it, make sure there's no pullback. Now, when you're doing this, you got to be really careful because you're discolor the film. And I just want to make sure I get to my edge without having tension. So I'll make sure I hit it with heat as I'm relaxing it and see what it starts doing. Just like that. And the bottom piece, I am pretty close to my edge. So I'll just make sure I pull down so I don't get any wrinkles. And right there. pretty good so like I said you always want to relieve tension so I'll cut and leave at first I'll leave about an inch and I'll just go all the way through and same thing get to the edge of the wrap pinch it pull it now I'll give it a little bit of heat while I'm at the edge to make sure I have no pullback So I got my top piece done. Made sure that I didn't have any peel back because that's the most important thing. You could do everything perfect. And if there's too much tension in the material, it'll peel, or not peel, but pull, pull back. And then I'll trim the edge again, heat it. And then after, I'll come back, same thing, pinch it to the edge of the wrap, pull it all the way through. And then, like I said, I'll hit it with a little bit of heat. 
and then massage it down. I'll lift this edge up so I don't rip the wrap off the mirror while I'm turning it. And then just massage it towards the edge and I'll give myself about an eighth of an inch all the way around. And then I'll heat it. And this is all over wrapping. Just like that, we're done. I wrap on the edge, pinch it, pull it all the way through. Just like that. And let's take a look at the final product. You see how I have it black and then just left my edge. So that way it looks like it's all black on the inside. Now, outside, hard body line, there's a seam right there. Hard body line, there's a seam right there. There's a seam right there. But when you look from the top down, you don't see it. Same thing here, the seam line there. The seam line here, but you don't see it because the car sits low. Here, you'll see this one through the inside, but it's on this side, so the custom or the owner won't really see this side. So that's the final result. Um, I, my name is Tiny Bot Vinyl. My, <laughs> my name is Albert with Tiny Bot Vinyl, and I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, if you want to see more, make sure you like, comment down below what you want, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.